Il y a un peu de temps, 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 il y a Whether you drive on the Queen's Road, the King's Road, or the Hibiscus Highway, every Fijian uh, knows our roadside uh, vendors and we know how important they are to Fijian life everywhere in the country. This was brought into uh, sharp uh, focus for many during the pandemic. Markets and vendors, stores are where Fijians buy their, buy their uh, the food. They remain vital sources of uh, food and nutrition security, economic activity and livelihoods that sustain small island economies. When markets and vendors do well, so do our communities. I want to especially acknowledge here the women farmers and vendors in our country. Some 85% of market vendors in Fiji are women. 61% of women are between 46 and 75 years of age. Additionally, about 50% of Fiji market vendors are selling what they, what they produce, meaning they are responsible from knowing the first uh, seed to harvesting their, uh, their crops, securing transportation, and then selling their produce. It is not easy work, but it is critically important work, and it's why we are here today. It is truly my pleasure to officially hand over the new uh, standardized uh, roadside stall to Nanano village. This new addition to Tailewu has been made possible through my government's warm partnership with the Indian government through the Indian High Commission Fiji. With the Sanganga Nibosa, I may want to take to Texas to get an overall wood tag over Namarama. We came to Sanganga to Ramanan. Nasa Volu. The Honorable Prime Minister of the Republic of Fiji. His Excellency Josei Warenge Painamarama, <coughs> Turangani Esawa, Elders of the Vanua, Senior Government Officials, Friends from the Media, and my dear brothers and sisters of this beautiful village, Nanono. Nisabula Vinaka, a very good evening to all of you. I cannot say how delighted I am and uh, greatly honored I am today to be amongst you on this very important occasion. The last two years, uh, two hours I've been I know, here, I've had the warmth and affection and love of uh, the people of this beautiful village in abundance, and I'm truly blessed for that. So let me thank you for that before I commence my remarks. <clears throat> Friends, I'm sure all of you know uh, our relations between India and Fiji goes a long way back, more than 143 years back, when the indentured labor from uh, the British India came to British Fiji. You gave them shelter, you gave them home, you gave them a new future. <clears throat> so ever since I was appointed to this place, I've always considered it my personal honor to represent my great country in this great nation, the beating heart of the Pacific. Beyond that, to get the love and affection of the people in abundance during my last one year stay here has been a truly a blessed kind of feeling. Ever since we became masters of our own destiny 52 years back, India and Fiji, we have built up a very strong, modern and multifaceted relations this relations has been built on mutual trust, mutual respect, cooperation, and a very strong people-to-people -people ties. I'm so happy to note that over the last 15 years, this relationship has gained a lot of momentum and has spread, has widened and deepened in many regions, many areas, to the mutual benefit of both our people. And our development partnership, especially through high-impact community-oriented projects like this has been the cornerstone of a development partnership. Whether it is partnership for progress in the area of agriculture, 
or medium, micro, small enterprises, or in cases like uh, sugarcane, or capacity building, or education, or health, as we all saw in the last two and a half years, uh, during the worst of the pandemic we have ever seen in our lifetime, we have always been there together. That is what friends are for. We will always be there for Fiji, and not just during the good times, but also through the challenging times. Because life is like that, we will face some challenge at some point of time. But I can assure, as the envoy of the government of India, that India would always be with the people of Fiji, whatever times to come. This occasion today is again a small testimony, a reminder to what our partnership can deliver for the people of Fiji. We, we feel so proud to be part of this project in this uh, village of Nanunu uh, for setting up these uh, roadside vendors. I saw and interacted for a brief time with the beneficiaries, with the villagers, and of course the Turanga Nikoro also. It was, it was such a humbling experience to see what kind of a difference this makes to the people, to, to their livelihood, and to the future. On this occasion, I would like to take the opportunity to reaffirm our commitment to continue to strengthen our relationship, continue to do more projects like this for the benefit of people of both the countries. And I look forward to a further engagement with the people of this beautiful village and, of course, this most beautiful country. And uh, thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to join and spend this wonderful evening with all of you. I would like to thank especially the Honorable Prime Minister for giving this opportunity and for giving an opportunity to the Government of India to partner in the noble endeavors and initiatives of the Government of Fiji, which is touching the hearts and minds of the people of Fiji. We are so humbled and honored, sir. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity. And thank you once again, all of you. God bless you. And I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Thank you. And we're not